Private sector lender HDFC Bank yesterday said it plans to raise funds up to rupees 50,000 crore by issuing debt instruments over the next 12 months. The bank will raise capital over the period of next 12 months through private placement mode, it said in the exchange filing. The board of directors would consider this proposal at its ensuing board meeting to be held on April 20th. India retained its position as the world's top recipient of remittances with its diaspora, sending a whopping 79 billion US dollars back home in 2018, the World Bank said. India was followed by China, Mexico, the Philippines and Egypt, the global lender said. With this, India has retained its top spot, according to the latest edition of the World Bank's Migration and Development Brief. A UK High Court has rejected Vijay Malia's application to appeal against his extradition, a move that brings India closer in getting back the embattled liquor tycoon wanted in alleged fraud and money laundering charges amounting to rupees 9,000 crore. The 63-year-old former Kingfisher Airlines boss had filed the application, seeking leave to appeal in the High Court on February 14 against his extradition order. Lower tax rates, interest-free agriculture loans up to rupees 1 lakh and steps to make India a 5 trillion US dollar economy by 2025 are among the key promises of the ruling BJP as it unveiled the manifesto for the general elections starting April 11. Building 60,000 kilometers of national highways, connecting all villages with rural roads, operationalizing 100 new airports, modernizing 400 railway stations and covering 50 cities are also part of the manifesto or Sankalp Patra. Days before India begins to vote, thousands of miles away, a team of experts maintain round-the-clock vigil on election-related chatter on Facebook, ready to combat the first signs of misinformation, voter manipulation tactics, poll interference and fake news. Facebook, which counts India as one of the biggest bases outside the US, has put in motion an elaborate strategy at the headquarters here with information warriors at its election war room watching out for hoax, voter suppression attempt, suspicious account behavior, hate messages, fake accounts and spikes in spam. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and US President Donald Trump's campaign strategies are similar as both rely on playing with people's emotions, Indian Overseas Congress Chief Sam Petroda said on Monday. Speaking on political campaigns in the digital era, Petroda, a long-time Gandhi family advisor, said digital era is about sound bites, gimmicks and videos as opposed to the in-depth analysis by journalists earlier. Pakistan's Finance Minister Azad Umar said on Monday that Pakistan's economy was out of the crisis phase even as the cash-strapped country's economic growth is projected to slump further to 3.9% in fiscal year 2019 from 5.2% in 2018.